welcome back to my channel or if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in to today's video so for today's video as you read by the title we are going to be reviewing the vanity planet pose led travel mirror you guys my birthday was just here so i did buy myself some things and you know you gotta spend some money on yourself every once in a while but i'm super excited about today's video if you guys are as excited as me make sure you leave guys leave a comment down below telling me if you guys got this or you know if you love it if you hate it anything and everything but before we get started make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel down below become part of my jam fam you guys we are growing every every day and um yeah i would love to have you guys join my jam fam make sure you do hit the post notification bell so you do never miss any of my uploads you guys subscribing is free and let's jump into today's review so the first thing that i noticed on the website you guys is it says that this is travel friendly it is a lifetime energy saving led bulbs and it uses a micro usb rechargeable usb plug and then on the back it just says step into the spotlight it says capture every detail with pose the super slim and low profile mirror that illuminates your features with a dimmable LED ring light. And then it also just says take it everywhere, super slim and travel friendly, the future of beauty. It features built in touch sensors and dimmable lights. Goodbye batteries, um, micro USB, so you can recharge them with a USB cable. A charge that lasts, physical switch prevents the mirror from accidentally being turned on. A lifetime of lights. Um, energy saving LED bulbs and then also cruelty free and innovated in California so here is the USB recharging cable and then whenever you open it I always drop stuff you guys Leave it up to me to drop everything while I'm trying to film a video. By the way, I do want to mention in today's video that Vanity Planet is not sponsoring this video. I did buy this myself for my birthday. They are not compensating me in this video, paying me to say anything for an unboxing or review. This is totally and solely my opinion, you guys. So whenever you open it, it does come in a bubble wrap, really nice wrap, nothing is broken. Wow, this is really small. So then it just looks like this when you open it. It says Vanity Planet on the bottom there. I don't know if you guys can read it because it's in like white lettering. And this is a gray. So then when you open it, it has the little paper thing right here and this is the mirror sorry about all the reflection you guys but this is what it looks like and it is very nice to travel with that's how it closes right there that's super cool you guys i don't know if this will turn on because i didn't charge it so um this is the power button and this is just I'm guessing where you plug in the USB cable. Yes, it is. The USB, USB cable goes in right there. And then the on switch is on the back. And then when you turn it on, it just looks like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a really, really nice mirror, you guys. I cannot wait to do my makeup in this. So it has LED lights in it and this is the power button right here you just turn it off on and off like that you guys can see all of my filming set up in the background i'm so sorry about that and then here's where your usb cable goes in right next to the power button right there so i cannot wait to do my makeup with this mirror this is really nice you guys so then whenever you just want to travel with it you just close it up just like that and then to reopen it it just opens super self-explanatory i don't even feel like i need to read the 
instructions instructions to work this and I love things like that sometimes we don't have time to read instructions so this is going to be really really nice and it's going to be a lifesaver whenever I don't have mirrors in hotel rooms or things whenever we travel I would highly recommend checking this mirror out you guys I'm already in love with it and I haven't even used it but I will tell you as I set the mirror in front of me it does stand up really nice I can see myself honestly it's super like it doesn't zoom you in but I feel like it has some sort of like feature on here that definitely does make you like be able to see your pores and stuff like that I don't even know if that made sense but like it doesn't have a zoom on it which I kind of prefer the mirrors that magnify but it doesn't have any magnification as I can see here but if I do get really close to the mirror I can kind of see my pores so maybe the lights help with that whereas other mirrors have the magnification to show you your pores maybe this just kind of enhances everything but if I had to critique that's probably the only thing that I would really add to this mirror is magnification just because I am one of those people that will sit there and look at my skin and pimples and express them and that might be TMI but it's just I like to get those whiteheads and blackheads out and there are safe ways that you can do it with tools you don't have to do it with your fingernails and fingertips you can definitely be sterilized and you know use your best cleanliness to express your blackheads and stuff like that you don't have to do it with your fingernails but I will have to say I love this light on this mirror this is going to be really nice for whenever i'm just somewhere that i don't have any light i can just set this up really nicely and i will show you guys a straight on view of what i'm looking at right now i'll put it up in the screen okay you guys so this is what the mirror looks like it just sits on a vanity or any surface like this one i will have to say that this is not as sturdy as I thought it is a little flimsy so you might have to have like something braced up against this for it to sit up which is kind of honestly a downfall in my opinion I think this should have been a little more sturdy especially for the price of this product it does feel a little cheap this is going to be so nice whenever you know you're traveling you don't have a mirror you don't have anywhere in your hotel room that has a mirror i can't tell you how frustrating that is to be a woman and not have a mirror to do your makeup in and i've had to do it um several times but yeah i think this mirror is going to be a great asset to my travel bag and just everything honestly in general you guys you can get this mirror i will put the price up on the screen you guys but i would highly recommend spending your money on this I love it already you guys like I said I bought this for myself for my birthday and I thought I was kind of stupid when I bought it because I was like do I really need that but now that I have it I really do love it and I'm glad that I purchased it because my I'll show you guys my old like mirror that I use and it's just honestly so old that it like rotates and flips around but also it does have that magnification so I might hold on to it for a little while um, until you know I get used to this one or if I want to throw it out I'm probably still gonna hold on to it but whenever you guys read the booklet it's called the user guide I'm just going to read some of the things to you guys um, so I guess the like time of the mirror like how long it's gonna stay charged for the lights and everything it says two and a half hours so that's pretty good um well and the mirror will light up which is what i showed you guys to adjust the brightness keep your finger on the power symbol until the mirror has reached the level you would like okay so let's try that so now we're going to play with the lighting settings so it said you just hover your finger over the power button and let me see if you guys can see the power button i'll probably turn it off to show you guys so let me just turn it off to show you the power button that I'm talking about. But here's the power button and here's the USB button. So I'm just going to do the power button and it says hover over it for the lighting settings. So as you can see, it's getting dimmer and that's really cool. And then whenever you want it to be lighter, I guess you just hover back over it. 
and it gets brighter again so that's a really cool feature as well i think that is really nice and a cool touch to this mirror let's see if it says anything else to turn the light off press the power symbol again which is what i showed you guys a flickering light means that pose has nearly lost its charge so if it's flickering then that means you need to charge it that's pretty cool and then it says whenever you want to charge it you just connect the usb card to a five volt power supply or a computer so you can honestly it's like a phone you could plug it up to a computer and it'll charge and then when charging the indicator will light up once charged the light will automatically turn off so that's pretty cool and a full charge should last, like I said, two and a half hours for this battery. Um, so you don't want to store it in your water. Um, be careful, you don't want to break it, so you don't want to put it into a tub or a sink. I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, if the device falls into water, don't reach for it. That's kind of weird. Maybe it'll like electrocute you. I don't know. Mirror out of direct sunlight. So I guess like don't put it in the mirror. It could probably damage the lights or something like that. But yeah, so this is the entire mirror, you guys. Once again, this is how it closes and it just looks like this. And it has a really nice matte feeling. And then if you do want to turn the light off through the bottom of it, you can definitely just hit this little power button right here and turn it off. So yeah, this is honestly a great mirror, you guys. I cannot wait to put this in my collection on my vanity. Just use this more. I'm very excited to use it, you guys. And like I said, the only, honestly, criticism that I could give, you know, that would be negative would just be that it doesn't have magnification or at least whatever I read, I couldn't find it. If you do find it, absolutely let me know but I didn't see anywhere on the description or anything of the product that it does have magnification. So that does kind of suck because if you're like me and you like to look at your skin really close, then you can't really do that. But it does emphasize your face enough to where you can kind of see your pores. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to use this, you guys. I will definitely keep you guys updated with the specs of this, how I like it, you know, when I'm using it, where I'm taking it everything but if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up you guys make sure you are subscribed down below make sure you become part of my jam fam you guys i would love to have you and make sure you hit the bell notification button so you never miss any of my uploads i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video